How's it going, everybody? My name is Tribbles, and welcome back to Beamage Drive. I have some thoughts about this game. I have some things that I wanted to, to touch base on and some other general stuff that's that probably has nothing to do with this video game, but stuff I want to spit out and get out of my head. The first thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, Beamage Drive content creation. I feel like on YouTube and Twitch especially, there's not a lot of content based around this game and personalities who play this game. Uh, it's interesting because Beamage Drive has a content creator program on their website i don't know if people have ever checked that out before but it's there and uh like they're willing to have partnerships with people who make content about this game and their game and stuff about them or critiques that they may have and their opinions on stuff and i feel like not a lot of people are taking advantage of that i know that a couple people are creating content about bb drive so mule or neological i'm sure there's other ones out there there's one of the dude that posts a lot of shorts of his live streams when he plays BMG Drive. But other than that, I haven't seen a lot of people posting a lot of BMG Drive content with their personalities as well. There's a lot of stuff and videos and streamers out there posting kind of spam content in a way. Personally, that's how I feel about their content is it's, it's a lot of spam. What I mean by that is like very bright, colorful uh, thumbnails saying, I don't even know. I, I've, I've read some of the titles and none of them make any sense. They're going for the most clickbaity titles they can possibly get by like putting in the most random words that have nothing to do with Beamage Drive or anything got to do with cars in general, actually. <laughs> and it's kind of frustrating to me. Beamage Drive is one of those games that has so much potential and it's one of those games that I feel like should have a bigger cult following. It is a fantastic video game. I will sink countless hours into this game, just modifying cars or driving around tracks like this or exploring jungles and trying to meet up with random people online playing BMMP. By the way, if you have no idea how to play multiplayer in BMMP Drive and you really want to, I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can check out this website called BMMP. Uh, well, I guess it's not the website, but it's something you can download to play with other people uh, and BMG Drive. And one thing in particular that I love about it is that you can make custom builds in the offline version of the game. So if you have it on Steam, you can come in here, create a custom build of any car that you want, save it, go into BeamMP and load it up into whatever server you want, and it'll be there. I think that's, that's so sick. I think that's so cool. I don't think enough people are taking advantage of that uh because i feel like if done right this game could have such a huge car community following uh i think this game plays so well into car culture entirely because of the amazing things that you can do with cars by the way this video is going to be so many tangents and it's not going to be linear like i'm not going to stay on one topic at a time <laughs> on the topic of car culture one thing that i would love to see in bmg drive is more modders and more people in the community coming together to make specific body kits or pieces of um of hardware and technology for a lot of these older cars like for instance this looks very similar to a 240sx or a 180sx you know this is what this car is pretty much based around in my opinion that's what it looks like but i think there's so much potential for car culture to come in and make this car whatever they want it to be you know there are so many body kits in real life and aftermarket scenes in real life about these you know surrounding these cars that i think if transferred into bmg drive would set it apart from a lot of the other racing games out there because people want to turn this into something that is there some people want to turn this into something that is specific to them with their own builds in real life so why not do it in bmg drive i have been really interested in getting into learning how to use blender and making body kits for it, what is it what is it said 200 bx yeah the 200 bx i've wanted to learn how to do that kind of stuff and the abishu covet i've i really wanted to work with body kits on that but there's not a lot of stuff in the aftermarket scene and and i know it's not technically the aftermarket scene it's the modding community who's not doing uh, a lot of that stuff and i'm pretty sure because it's stupid hard <laughs> one of the things that i really am really really interested in is seeing if there are modders out there that can import whole engine swaps for 
a lot of the cars that are in this game. I know it's possible because people have done it before, but one of the games that I bought a long time ago is Automation. Automation allows you to make a whole bunch of different engines and then put them in your own custom cars and then test them within the game. But one of the features that they have in Automation is that you can export that into BeamNG Drive and make basically any car that you want. And I've done this before. I have these Astro uh, atrocities. Let's see. I'll pull out the Raven. This was the first one that I made. <laughs> I tried to make something that was similar to an Integra, like kind of the body styling and the, and the design language of an Integra. It didn't really come out that way at all. It's got somewhat of like a maybe Miata feel. I don't. I don't even know. I don't even know what this this feels like. I, I can't really put a finger on it. But I put a, a 2.4 liter inline four with VTEC and revs up to 9,000 RPM. You know, just something ridiculous. And I made it rear wheel drive, not front. I think it's pretty cool, uh, but I feel like it could be more in depth. You know, there's not a lot of stuff that can be done to the interior. From what I could tell, it's really hard to use automation in my opinion, but I, I don't know. There's left, there's, there's more left to be desired. And the destruction of automation cars is not as well fleshed out as I'd like it to be. I don't know. I feel like this game has so much potential and it's just waiting to be tapped into. I, I don't know what needs to be done first. I think genuinely speaking, if the car community came around and started making more body kits and aftermarket pieces for cars in game that reflect the real world, I think this game would take off. I genuinely think this game would blow up. If BMG Drive focused a little bit more on the lighting system and the way that the graphics ran just to make it a little bit more efficient and a little bit better looking, I also think that would bring a lot of people into BMG Drive because currently the base game itself does not look the it's not the most pretty thing in the world. I mean, it's not the most attractive looking game. It to me personally, the lighting some something's weird with the lighting and the weather effects it's just it's missing something i don't exactly know what it is i talked to a couple people in the community and they said that the waiting the, the way lighting is done is very very old this game came out like 10 years ago <laughs> i'm pretty sure i think it was uh, was it published in 2013 i forget I, st I started playing it a long 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 time ago when it first started coming out so i've kind of been with this game for a very long time and the way that it used to look back then is <laughs> terrible <laughs> compared to the way it looks now, but I still think there's a lot to be desired. I have to give huge props to the devs behind BMG Drive because they have stuck with this game for, again, 10 years in making it whatever the heck they want. And I feel like it's starting to get to the stage where it could be a featured game. You know, it's, it's one of those things that had a ton of development time and it has a really good community. And it's starting to get to the point where it's very well polished, right? Some things are left to be desired, but it's starting to get to the point where it's like, okay, is this looks like a console game that I would have tried out as like a demo <laughs> on the Xbox 360 and I would have bought later on. I don't know. I think that's really cool. I think that's super dope. Again, there still needs to be some time in the oven, but ah, I love this game. I love this game to death. My one gripe with the Mi Drive team that I've had in the past is their stance on multiplayer. They said very early on that multiplayer was one of those things that's going to be damn near impossible. Like it's not one of those things that's just going to work for BMG Drive and the community <laughs> came back around and proved them wrong, which I think is one of the coolest things that's ever happened uh, in my lifetime in terms of you know, the gaming scene is that the community nowadays is capable of anything. And if we're told that we can't do something, we're going to find a way to make it happen. And that's happened with BMG Drive. The devs came around, they said, hey, multiplayer is not one of those things that's really possible. It just doesn't make sense with the way that the game runs. I, we don't think it's, it's ever going to work. And someone or a team, I guess a team came out with BMMP, which allowed people to you know, start stepping into the multiplayer scene of this game. As of right now, it's like an early CSGO kind of stage where you just join whatever server that's on the long list. And I don't, I'm not sure who the host is, but it like connection is kind of spotty. Each interaction with another vehicle, if you happen to come into contact with them, is not very fleshed out. You can't put people on the back of a trailer because it's going <laughs> to cause a ton of problems <laughs> and start sending cars flying for no reason, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. 
still, no matter what, it's one of the coolest things in the BMG Drive community is being able to play online. I think I touched on this earlier. If you have a car that you've made for yourself and you're very proud of it and you like the style that's there and you save it as a preset, you can bring that into an online server. And what's great about that is if there's servers dedicated towards the car community and people who love cars and people who love modifying cars and they create their own uh, renditions of their real life cars and bring it into something that they've made in Beamage Drive, saved, brought it into an online server. I think that's super cool. I think that is so awesome. I think there's so much opportunity for Beamage Drive to capitalize on that idea and that prospect. I have not heard thus far of a game development studio working with the community who has made a mod for them. Other than maybe like CSGO and DayZ, because I think each one of those was a, a mod or the other. Or it might have been uh, DayZ and... Oh my god, what's that other battle royale? I totally forget. H1Z1. DayZ and H1Z1, I think, were... Um, one of them was a mod of the other, and it was created into this full-fledged game. But I, so far, I have not heard of a gaming development studio coming together and working with uh, the community in something that they've created to incorporate into their game, for instance, like running online servers. To that degree, I have not heard of that happening before. If that's something that could happen, with BMG Drive, I think that's gonna that's that's gonna make big waves in the community for one, and for two, I think that's gonna drive a lot of people to get into BMG Drive and especially BMMP, and that's gonna start building the community. That's gonna start building what BMG Drive is capable of. That's gonna start building what the community is capable of as well. I think the more minds, the more people that are behind this game, the better off it'll be. The more people are introduced to what this game is capable of and what the community is capable of. That's gonna, I, I'm hoping that becomes the main staple of this game. I hope that's what people are drawn to specifically. It's like, hey, if you wanna create whatever you wanna create in this game, if you wanna make something your own, if you wanna you know, be a part of a bigger community and have the benefit of some of the most amazing crash physics I've ever seen in my entire life, that's going to blow a lot of people's minds. And that's going to create a new standard, in my opinion, of what games are meant to be, what gaming is meant to be. I think BMG Drive could rival games such as uh, Forza or Need for Speed or Gran Turismo. Uh, it could even punch in the same weight class as a set of Corsa or other simulation games that have to do with realistic driving. This, I, this game has so much potential. I love it to death and I, I want the best for it. I'm so curious as to how Beamage Drive has continued to support this game. How are they able to fund this? Are the dev teams making enough money off of the game sales itself? Are the dev teams working with YouTube ad revenue to support their business? Like how in the world has Beamage Drive stayed so relevant for this many years that blow absolutely blows my mind and i'm so curious to know how it all works i've said this a little bit in my other youtube channel shameless plug at uh, link in the description i've always wanted to be something i've always wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself i've always wanted to contribute to something that has made a difference in the world and that causes some sort of good i absolutely love this game to death i will always support this game you know to its to its end i have no idea if there's going to be a beam and drive 2 or I, I really don't think it's going to get to that or i don't know if they're going to have to do an update to the type of engine that it's running on because as as far as i can tell it's pretty dated if there's any chance they could port this same exact system to let's say something like unreal engine 5 where the graphics are just bananas that would be nuts that would be insane the more time i spend playing this game just for fun like i genuinely just come in here and i i loop this track over and over and over again because it is so damn addicting to get down that that perfect racing line the more i'm like okay how many other people are doing this and how can we turn this into content creation how can we turn this into something that like surpasses the simple idea of just being a soft body physics video game i think one of the things that could happen i've, I've tried to do this in the past but I, I didn't really execute on it very well is time attack events uh, if there was a specific class system for the cars in this game and there was a way to 
kind of even the playing field on the way cars are classified then i think one of the things that could draw in a big audience and maybe be kind of exciting is time attack events if the aftermarket scene and the modding scene for this game continues the more pieces of performance equipment that can be added and i there's got to be a system of, of verifying if whatever mod is applied if it's something that can be legally used in <laughs> like a time attack setting you know you don't want to have tires that have grip up to like the absolute max that they're capable of in this game to where it literally just never slips off the concrete but if that's something that was that was able to be done then i think that large scale events where people test their abilities as drivers uh, on some of the most challenging tracks ever made i think that could be an interesting competition because i know that in the motorsports scene that's really big you know time attack events are huge and i think that's so cool if there was drifting events in this game people using their own drift builds i think that could be another source of one revenue and two more and more people joining in and more and more people hearing about what bmg drive is is all about in my opinion bmg drive is one of those games that has not been published about enough i think this game deserves a lot more public recognition on social media and youtube and twitch i just think it's it's so damn cool and if done right it can be very very entertaining to watch i think it's kind of hard because watching <laughs> a whole bunch of cars just drive around all day maybe isn't the most entertaining thing in the world but if events and things were created about it if people were to go head to head over something and test their their skills or if there were challenges to make the best looking car if or if a economy system was built into the game somehow if you know the challenge would be how to make the best looking car on the right budget i think jack ultra motive one of the biggest youtubers for um for forza might just want to join this game you know it doesn't show off specifically licensed vehicles yet but if it did that that would be mind-blowing too or if there was enough vehicles in bmg drive with their specific companies they have some i don't know all the names i think it's bruckel gavril abishu uh, hirochi uh burnside oh my god how how big of a nerd am i how, can i remember all of the all of the names etk there we go got that one uh oh what else is there i think there's one more that i'm missing Ooh, uh, uh, uh Oh, what is it? It's not, it's like Savetti or something. It's the, it's the Italian one. They make the supercars. I think there's one more. I just don't remember what it is. Anyway, if they flesh out those completely, like actually have decades worth of each brand, because they have the Abishu Covet, right? Made from 1980 something to 1991. But if they had the next installment of the abishu lineup because i think it's more of like a honda kind of thing because it looks like a honda civic to me if they had maybe the integra with the acura but it's still under the abishu name or if they had you know a honda nsx or if they had using the same type of engines i that's that's awesome that brings in so many more people into the community the people who love the the civic absolutely love the covet i love the covet because i love the integra i have one <laughs> you know and it, it reflects the actual usability of a front wheel drive car in terms of a time attack machine which is awesome you know not a lot of games do that anyway what was i saying there's a lot to be desired and there's so 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 much potential in terms of what this game is capable of if i uh, i don't know how how to to make it go in the direction that i think it should go and then honestly my opinion is it's completely up to me it's objective uh bmg drive and their dev team could have a completely different eye on what this game is meant to be and if they don't want to go down that road that's all well and good for them you know and i'll still support them no matter what i this is my personal opinion if they went down this road of tailoring towards the card community specifically i i think they would they'd be rolling in it if they could make it happen I think they'd be absolutely rolling in it. When I first started playing this game, I did not think it was going to go this far. I dreamed that it would go this far. I was like, wow, this is a really cool game. Like, this is going to be so sick. And if it has a little bit more development time and then more development time turned into 10 years of development and it's still not even like fully released yet. I think it's still in early access. The physics in this game have gotten so damn good 
look at look at how the suspension reacts to differences in terrain or like jumping off into there you can see the individual little pumps in the suspension that is one of the most interesting things to uh, to me i loved the way suspension worked like with legos i'd make cars you know and i i just want to see how the suspension would interact with different environments and so playing this game when i was a wee lad was like it was can it was it was a kid in a candy shop basically okay <laughs> Obviously the physics back then were not as well fleshed out as they are now, but now that they are well fleshed out, this is just fantastic. It looks amazing. Ah, I remember what I was talking about earlier. There was a moment where I was like, what was, what was I talking about? Uh, I want to be a part of this game. I want to be a part of the community that is based around this game. And I want to be able to ask questions to the people who would follow me, allegedly, you know, if, assuming that I continue to actually make content and stick to my promises of being more active on YouTube and, <laughs> and and streaming or Twitch or any of that. No, I think that'd be so sick to be a part of this community specifically. As of right now, I don't think I really am. <laughs> I don't have a, a large following based specifically around this game. I want I want there to be. I want to be a personality that's playing in the BMG Drive space. I think that'd be so, so cool. I think it's just about figuring out what niche I fall into in terms of like, what do I do in BMG Drive? Is this something that's compelling? Is me talking your ears off and just running around this one specific track is it compelling to watch is this something that is interesting in time assuming that i continue down the content creation path and my ability to make videos starts to evolve and the way that i create content based off of bmg drive evolves i'm hoping that it'll it'll start to build a little community of my own <laughs> uh i want this game to go super far i want it to be you know, the, the biggest and best thing it can be. I want the devs to have all the freedom they possibly want with this game. And I don't want them ever to be locked down or feel like they have to pull strings to accomplish the goals that they want. And I think step number one is starting to get more and more content creators backing this game and making content about this game. Because the more people that know about it, the better off BMG Drive is going to be. So one last question I'm going to leave you with before I end this video is uh, what would you like to see from BBG Drive or the content based around it? What's something that you'd be interested in watching or something that you would want to happen for BBG Drive? If you've been following this game for a little while, let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> I'm not sure if that question is going to go anywhere, but still, it's fun to ask those kind of things. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to smack that like button, subscribe if you're new, if you're not new and you're not subscribed, but what the hell are you doing, man? Just the damn button. It's not that hard. Just... Thank you all so much for watching this video. It's gonna be back. <laughs> it's good to it's gonna be sitting in the seat again talking talking about random stuff. <laughs> but uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.